And we're back. This is the fifth week of October. And you know what? This one's important because fifth week does mean something in comic books, at least with DC. It means annuals? Yeah, it means annuals and like odds and ends, and usually you're not picking up that much. DC does weird things with their fifth weeks, as we'll get to later. But before I do that, are you spooked? By what? It's Halloween. No, it's not. It's almost Halloween. It's Halloween <laughs> week. Okay. We're trying to spook. I'm trying to spook Brian. You Mari. Did a horrible job. Yeah, you're not very spooky. Uh, if we were going to see The Shining tomorrow, you'll that be might spooked. be spooked. Are you be scared? I saw that movie when I was too young, so it's scarred me mentally. So you haven't seen it since? Oh, no, I've seen it since. Oh, okay, so, so you'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hannah's going to be there. I'll hold her hand. Ah. Oh. Hannah's our friend. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this if you're watching this Hannah you are our friend yes and if your name is Hannah and you're watching this then well, you're a friend too because that means someone's watching us which is awesome um, everybody else whose name is not Hannah you're not our friend no you are you are especially if you leave comments which you should totally do um, but before we get into comments I don't know uh, let's go ahead and start talking about what's coming out this week. So Mara, talking about our independent books, what do we got going from Image and Dark Horse? First from Image, we have the 15th issue of Saga, which mm. oh. is none of our picks of the week. Well, it's because I really wanted to talk about it. Yeah. And I, I read it today. It's got a killer ending, and you're going to want to pick it up and read it. That is true. Man, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> Um, but the well, cover, looking, yeah, don't look when I flip through things. Why was she flipping through things? She always does. I always do. Uh, cover is beautiful. I love romance novel covers because they're so ridiculous, <laughs> and Fiona Staples does a fantastic job emulating the romance feel, which, as we know, Alana and Marco bonded over a romance novel. Um, from Image, we also have Five Ghosts. Very popular series, and from Dark Horse, <laughs> Killjoys came out this week. Almost crying. It's it's such a bummer. <laughs> that's such a good book. And Here, you want me to spoil like that for no, you? No, I don't. <laughs> I wasn't spoiling. I was just flipping through it, and you saw something, and you don't even know what it means. So if his yes. reaction is anything, that's if, true. If there his is reaction is anything, you then you know that something big happens in this issue. I hope I sold a book or two. <laughs> you'll read it. You'll read it in about five minutes. You'll be fine. So those are the highlights from smaller publishers. <laughs> Did you just imply that these videos last five minutes? No, talk about DC. Okay, they don't last five minutes. Um, we tried that once and it was terrible. Uh, well, like I said earlier, it is. Uh, it is the fifth week in. Uh, in October, so that we do have a lot of annuals, and the only three that I'm going to talk about. Um, our Swamp Thing, Nightwing, I'm not going to pull them all up. It was our Swamp Thing. It's written by Crystal, who is kind of killing it right now. That's what I've heard. That's been really yeah. good, but I wait on the trades for Swamp Thing. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not implying the quant because I haven't read much of Crystal, but what I am implying is that he's writing everywhere. That is true. Yeah. yeah. So he's, a, he's definitely... He's definitely all over the place, and he's going to be wearing She-Hulk, so I'm excited about that. Uh, then we got uh, John Ostander with the Aqu Ostrander with the Aquaman. Is he going to be writing Aquaman now? Uh, no, Jeff Parker's writing it okay. when he takes over, but weirdly, whenever it's an issue just about the others, it's been John Ostrander. I don't know why, but Fair enough. I guess maybe he just digs those characters. I guess so. So uh, if you're digging Aquaman, well, dig this. Uh, I do have to give you a heads up, though. With uh, annuals, there is an extra dollar or two that you have to pay, but eh, sometimes they're worth the price. No, they're uh, thicker. They're, they're you get more. Nice. You get more story. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of story, Kyle Higgins, uh, Nightwing, still going strong um, with this annual that ties into Batgirl. Oddly enough, so if you're a Batgirl fan, you may want to pick this up. If you're a Nightwing fan, you might want to pick this up. Talks about what. Their I think it's their past. So I, think love. It, I think it just barely ties into Batgirl 1 and just kind of dealing with her run, on the run from Gordon, but then it's going to go back and be yep. a story about them when they were kids, when she was still the younger Batgirl, I think. It looks like her... Or maybe not. It looks like her... 
younger mm-hmm. Batgirl costume. Yeah. It's kind of reminiscent of the animated series. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's definitely gray rather than black. Yeah. So, that's pretty cool. I was totally wrong. It doesn't look like it's about that at all. It looks like it's all in the present. Oh. <laughs> it's a little bit in there, in the back, but it looks like it's all, as you're flipping through it, I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. So. There is some past stuff in there, yeah. so. There you go. If you're a big Nightwing and Batgirl fan, you may want to pick that up. And finally, I want to address, and I don't know much about this, it's Andy Kubert's Damon, Damien, sorry, son of Batman. And Kubert is, do people call him a co-creator of Damien? I mean, I mean, probably so. I mean, I mean he, he probably did, designed the costume, I'm sure. Yeah. So, I mean, he's, uh, he definitely, I mean, he's worked with Morrison enough and worked with Damien enough to be quite familiar with the character. So, sure. if you've been feeling a little bummed out that there's no Damien, I don't really know where this takes place or what kind of context or continuity this takes place in. I'm not sure either. Uh, but maybe that's the best way to go into it. So, if you're... Interested in this, um, Kubert does both the art and the uh, story. If he does the story, he better do the art, right? Um, so there you go. That's pretty much all I got from DC. Something else came from DC Publishing, but we'll talk about that later. That'll be the last thing we talk about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, so Marvel. Uh, Infinity's still going, so we got uh, Avengers number 22. Uh, wackiness, I think this is space stuff. Oh, before we move on, can mm-hmm. I... Uh, something in the last issue of Avengers, did the did the accusers kill Supreme Intelligence? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Or at least attacked him. Yeah. It's not as big of a spoiler as the... <laughs> I was just flipping and you were mm-hmm. looking. And then, uh, of course, actual Infinity number five comes out. We're almost done. Speaking of another Qbert, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. If, are you caught up on it? I mean, I'm, caught up, but I'm caught up on Infinity. I'm not caught up. I haven't read... All of the last issue of Avengers and New Avengers. I so I guess technically I'm not caught up on it. We're at the point where I think we're done with the builders now. It's Thanos time. Thanos is Really? Right. Yes. Yeah, you're not caught up. I, 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 I've kind of, I've skimmed. Well, I've noticed that. No, yeah. I've read that. But Don't show yeah. many pictures from inside yeah, a comic was, book. That was the last issue. But, um, well, that's that's just, that just that one. So they're able to take them down. I, I, yeah, but no, I think it's pretty much over. Um, I mean, they're running. Let me ask you this. They didn't realize the Thor could kill them. And New Avengers, Wakanda fell. I think so. Is it's, that the first time Wakanda's fallen? Yeah. What about during Avengers vs. X-Men? Did that count? When they uh, were... Maybe. I mean, it was just one guy attacking or yeah. whatever. So I don't know if they count that as an invasion or whatever. It's kind of a bummer, right? Who does Hickman think he is that he can be the guy well, that causes Wakanda to fall? Admittedly, the Wakanda thing, I mean, they only that was only a thing and when they started Black Panther like five years ago or something. It's not like it was... I don't think it was ever part of the original continuity. But I could be wrong. I don't know enough about Black Panther. I don't like Black Panther. Oh, yeah. Can I get to you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, next up we got more Infinity. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, so Gamora, as Thanos' adopted daughter, obviously has a hand to play in this big battle. So, Groot, Rocket... All your friends are there. This is finally the first tie-in to Infinity 2 from Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah it is. Because Frank Avila is. That's his first issue. Uh, next up, we got Cataclysm Point One. This is continuing the real Galactus, destroying the Ultimate Universe. The real Galactus. So, I guess he's got an old and glowing Galactus, unless you count that swarm. Well, yeah. He yeah. ate those guys, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, Red Hunger, I read the first three issues of that today. I liked it a lot. Yeah. It wasn't bad. It, it scared me, like, in a nice way. Like, in a, <laughs> oh, wow, I'm actually kind of frightened about this. This is actually tying directly into uh, Age of Ultron now, because I think we get to the scene where Miles sees Galactus. Gotcha. So, uh, that should be cool. I, like I said, I really enjoyed Hunger, so I'm looking forward to Cataclysm. And then, uh, last up, we got some Uncanny X-Force. Awesome Chris Anka cover. Psylocke, Demon Bear stuff. Cool. Puck in the game or, or the gang or smashing stuff again, I'm sure. I saw a big bear. Who's that bear? That's the demon bear from New, War- New Mutants. Yeah. All right. Just read it. Read the yeah. Mutants. I guess. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> knocking it. Just, you don't have to justify your mutant bear to me. All right, and then Mara can finish up that, from finish up the Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> My oh, pick too, of the sorry. week. You're stuck, though. What? <laughs> the last chapter of Battle of the Atom. It better be good. It's it was. quite fascinating. Um, 
Because I did not expect the ending. I did not either. And I expected part of it, but not all of it. I mean, you were here when I was reading it, and I was I was so like, that, there's no way that happened. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, are you sure that this didn't happen instead of this? So, um, it's got some nice moments, um, particularly, don't look, <laughs> particularly between um, Jubilee and Shogo. Yeah, the last the four epilogues are probably the best part. Yeah, they've, they've got some little tying everything up after this major battle. Yeah. There's some lasting implications from this. Uh, X-Men die? People die. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of... Of course they do. It always happens every time you have one of these big battles. Hopefully we get rid of that young angel. <laughs> he's, not, he's not horrible. But it was, it was a great ending. So I... I think that every X-Men fan has to read this before they can read any other X-Men books. Yeah, definitely. Man, yeah, it's uh, it's becoming a bit of a dense requirement for you to get into X-Men now, which, you know, it's yeah, really good, it's though. Because you don't, I mean, you don't have to read Brian Wood's X-Men. Yeah. Mean, if you're going to read the Bendis stuff, you've got to read all new and uncanny, but... Not Wolverine and the X-Men? Not really. No. I mean, you not could, to get it all. I mean, you yeah. should, because all four books are amazing, yeah. but yeah. you don't have to. And they feed off each other really well. Sure, yeah. And then we've seen that in Battle of the Atom, that, you know, they're not completely separate books from each other. They all interact very well. But, yeah, I mean, I mean, you can pick and choose if you have to. Speaking of X-Men, how about that trailer? Days of Future Past is looking good. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, I know what you're saying. Why aren't these people talking about it more? It's because before we started recording this, we talked about it for about 15 minutes, and <laughs> now we're a little bit tuckered out. Yeah. There's a nice image of Bishop, but every time I see Bishop, I always think of that song that played on the... Wow, 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 Yeah, like wow. That, that twangy He's sound. He's a cowboy was, from the future. I was wow, not wow. expecting that to, to show up at that moment in the trailer. Yeah, I, don't I don't even know what you guys are talking about. In the animated it's series, animated Bishop series. shows up. It's like, wow, wow. This, like, bluesy, <laughs> western-y <laughs> feeling song in the He's background. He's come from a saloon. It not, doesn't have words. He's just making stuff up. He's got a tattoo of an M on his eye. And a bullet. Who cares about any of that? Kitty Pride was in it. Yeah. And we're pages back. What is what is what is Iceman doing working for Magneto? Because that's what that totally looks like. Go watch the trailer. I mean, it looked like Magneto's involved with all of them, all the X Men. And yeah. if, if you're doing Days of Future Past, he is. Looks like old Xavier's being a drama queen. <laughs> Wuss. <All right. laughs> My pick of the week. Uh, it it is Superior Spider Man because well for two reasons. One, I'm excited to finally be finished with. Uh, Spidey 2099, but I'm also, the cover is just, just so wrong. It's, <laughs> it's, first of all, Octavius is supposed to be dating that little lady who is in this comic. Are they actually dating? I think so. She think thinks just, he, she, uh, yeah. I, mean, I, I think, think she thinks There's definitely some is. connection, but I don't know if they're actually dating. Uh, I can't imagine Doc Ock dating anybody. And you have a cameo from Mario in this comic, too. So oh, that's yeah. something to get excited about, too, as well. Uh, so if you want Mario from Super Mario mm -hmm. Brothers, Black Cat, and Spider-Man, Doc Ock, humping on her. It looked like Mary Jane, too. Yeah. Yeah, Mary Jane. Looked and, like it. And the little lady. There's Aunt May. And Aunt May. Mm -hmm. All your spider yeah. friends are here. Everybody who hasn't been in the comic book for the last two or three issues, yeah, that's like... <laughs> that, Grumpy old mean professor that yeah. Octavius doesn't like. And yeah, everybody's there, so that should be a good time. Sure. Good time. Good time from Dan Slot. Alright. All right. Yeah. The most important comic book of the day for sure. Sam in Overture number one. Dude, what are you doing? You're screwing up my whole presentation. Sorry. I had a whole plan and sorry, stuff. Sorry. Grabby hands. Yeah. I wanted All to right. see it. <laughs> Only if they ruined it with the back of that book. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Sandman Overture, Neil Gaiman returning to Sandman, sort of a year one story, telling basically what happened to Dream the day that he got kidnapped in the first issue of Sandman. Gosh, How so, long has it been? Uh, 20 years? 25 years? I don't know. Now, how long has it been since the Sandman, the Neil Gaiman comic has come out? Oh, I don't know. Less than that. Right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's definitely uh, less than 25 years. Yeah. So, J.H. Williams doing amazing art. Uh, 
And this is the J.H. Williams cover, but as I was telling them earlier, how can you read a Sandman comic, comic book without a Dave McKean cover? So this is the Dave McKean. You could, stores could order them equally, so if you want one, I'm sure you can get one fairly easy. That's but, a nice one. Uh, yeah. Instead of forcing me. True. Yeah. But uh, it's pretty awesome. If you've never read Sandman, you should, probably should be able to read this pretty easy. And if you haven't read Sandman, you're wrong. Just go read it right now. <laughs> and, and I know you don't like when I pitch for Comixology. Yeah, they're having some sale. Aren't they're they? having every Sandman comic is a dollar. So you can get the entire series of Sandman for 75 bucks. And I, I think it was the Mary Sue. They had a list of Sandman single issues you can read just to get the feel of the book. Yeah. Like little snippets of... I read that one with Perez. Yeah, the yeah. Perez one was cool. Yeah. Mike Allred. Yeah. yeah. yeah so there's, there's lots of Sandman Yes, but if you haven't read Sandman, you should start right now. Just put down whatever you're watching this stupid video on and go read Sandman. <laughs> oh, this is a computer. Then why do you pick it up? Why ground. do you pick it up in the first place? <laughs> what if what if they bought it digitally and they want to read it on their iPad and they're watching this video? Too bad. They Too screwed bad. up. They should have gone and bought it in print. <laughs> now are you gonna be mad if I uh, transition the Sandman conversation into a Prez conversation? I guess not. What do you got? What else do you have to talk about, Prez? Other than he was in Sandman once. I, I've read all four issues because that's okay. as many comics as that guy. Yeah, I was man. gonna say. He's he's the teenage president, and he he's had a he very him. racist little friend. That and isn't a, the bad guy uh, like a smiley face guy? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, his Native American friend is decked out as one of the village people, and said, but speaks in broken English. So that's what they did. Yeah. In the 70s, dude. In the yeah. 70s. But, Prez was also created by the guy who created Captain America, which is not saying much at all. Um, well, I mean, it's not really. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't really know, man. But how much of a bummer is it? This is like, this is, you can say this is a landmark issue. This is probably one of the most important issues to come out this year. Yeah, but like, a lot of people aren't going to buy it. Wait for the inevitable hardcover. Yeah. Right. What? Don't you feel kind of bummed that it's marred by an advertisement for Dracula on the end? I mean, aren't all the DC comics got Dracula on the back? I don't think that's really bothering me at all. I don't know. And, and, I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to split hairs here. What? I want, paper? Yeah. What's want, wrong with the paper? Yeah. It's the, the high paper. quality DC paper. Nice glossy. I like the Vertigo paper. And it, I just think it's but just... But, Brian, J.H. Williams' art is going to look better on this paper than it's going to look on that kind of paper. Right. I do believe it's bizarre, that. And I bet that's why they did it for Adam Kubert, Andy Kubert, because his art is, looks, is going to, the way he drew it, probably looks better on that paper than it does on this paper. I'm just putting hairs. Yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to, trying to get a rise out of you. Because if I can't spook you, I want to piss you off. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well... Did we have a good week this week, as far as comics are concerned? I think so. All right. Yeah, you got the Battle of the Atoms, Saga, Sandman, Nightwing. Come on, man. It's a little Infinity. bit of something for everyone. Spider-Man. Spider-Man, yeah. <laughs> Don't man. Guardians of the Galaxy. That's exciting. Yeah. Infinities. Now you said Infinities, didn't you? Oh, yeah. It's a good, it's a good week. Deadshot, Beginnings. I didn't even talk about Kick-Ass 3. Kick-Ass 3? <laughs> That's a thing. You could ever make a third movie. Yeah. I think the second one did okay. They did alright. It, it did, I mean, they make those cheap. Yeah, I mean, they're making Secret Service and all these other dumb Mark Miller movies, so why don't they finish Kick-Ass? Yeah, might as well. Because that's the last part. Cool. Alright, well. I'm trying to think if there's any more comic book thingies that we want to talk about. I guess that's it. I mean, we haven't done one since the Captain America trailer came out. Mm, well, what do you think about the Captain America trailer? It was awesome. I love the Winter Soldier, so I'm down. Wait, what do Winter you think Soldier about the Captain America? I'm excited to watch it. What do you think about Winter Soldier? Was he an invader? Yeah, he's Bucky. Well, I know he's Bucky, but like, okay, you have to tell me about the invaders. The previews came out, and there's a solicitation for an invaders comic, which is essentially the 1940s Marvel, Timely Magazines, Namor... Cap, Namor, Human Torch, Human Torch, and Bucky, and yeah. Toro was in it, the Human really? Torch's sidekick. But I don't think he's alive anymore. Was he ever alive? He was a robot. 
Not Toro. Sorry. Toro was a mutant, dude. Oh. <laughs> Human Torch was. Yes, Human Torch was a robot. And he still is. He hasn't been in a comic in a long time, has he? Yeah, he has. He pops up every once in a while. Hmm. He was in uh, Rick Remender's Secret Avenger stuff. Oh, okay. All right. Y'all are probably ready to read Sandman I'm and stop sure watching this. I'm sure they turned it off a long time. <laughs> if you watched this far, we really appreciate it. And we, uh, good Lord, what am I doing? I don't know. Um, I'm rambling quite a bit tonight. I know. It's been a long day. <laughs> um, well, Brian, why don't you tell the boys and girls where we're located? Uh, we're in Conway Comics, 255 Ferris Road in Conway, Arkansas, right behind good old UCA. And oh, and if you're, by the way, if you're in the area, next weekend is Comic Conway. And you should definitely show up. Comic convention. It'll be awesome. It yep. should be good. Last year was surprisingly excellent. I was shocked at how nice it was. I know. And it, it's only going to be bigger this year. We have Eric Larson and, yeah. and uh, Joe Isma and some other names that are... Jeremy cool. Hahn, the new artist on Batwoman. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Crazy. Yeah. Should be fun. Yeah, it should be a good time. So y'all should definitely come out. Enjoy the local comic convention. Watch uh, us crush on the uh, comic, comic book quiz bowl. Yes. <laughs> well, if that's it. Yep, it's time to say the name yeah. too. So, from nerdspan.com, I'm Matt Wood. I'm Mara Wood. I'm Brian Kim. And have a happy Halloween. You're so loud.